Hey, welcome to this video tutorial. This is Arnold from Golden Land, and today I'm going to show you how you can create dependent fields in Zoho CRM. So the first question is, what are dependent fields? So let me take an example to explain this. So if you go to the leads module over here, for example, uh, let me choose any record over here. So you, you can see over here that there is a field called lead source. So over here, I can capture what are the sources of my leads. So for example, it could be an unsolicited referral from one of our customers. It could be a, a referral from existing customer. It could be a proactive call from a prospect. It could be email blast, so on and so forth. Now over here, I have also created uh, another custom field, which is priority. Okay, and the values that I've set over here is high, medium, and low. So what I want to achieve that based on my lead source, I want the priority to be set automatically. I mean, I don't need to choose this part. So if you look at fundamentally that this becomes my parent field and based on the value of this field, the value of this field, which is the priority field, would be set. So this is going to be my child field. So in order to set these dependencies, uh, you need to go to setup over here. And under customization, under the fields, you need to choose the relevant module. So I wanted to set up the relationship in the leads module. So let me choose leads over here. And once I'm into the leads module, I choose on the map dependency fields. So let me uh, create a new over here. So let me choose the parent field over here as the lead source and the child field is going to be priority. I click on next and then uh, like the first row represents lead source and the second row represents priority. So when the lead source is none, the priority should also be none over here. When uh, the lead source is going to be unsolicited referral, of course, we have to assign the priority as high. Please note that when you choose all these, uh, you need to press the control button in your keyboard and you need to select the relevant value. So when the lead source is going to be referral from existing customer, I choose the priority as high. When it is proactive call from a prospect, that means they look to be interested. So I again choose the priority to be high. Uh, let me go to the next set over here. Uh, email blast to existing customers, I say the priority is medium. Web inquiry, medium. Social media inquiry, medium. Appointed call from networking, I say medium. And then uh, advertisement, uh, I say low. Appointed sales call, low. And cold call, low. Okay, and I save the relationship over here. Now, if you go back to the leads module now, and if you choose any of the lead record, you'll be able to see that the moment you choose a value, like I choose unsolicited referral, the priority is set to high automatically. So if I choose it to be a web inquiry, the priority is changed to medium, okay? And if I kind of change it to cold call, the priority is changed to low. So this is how you set up the dependent field values over here. So hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any question, you must visit the Golden Lion website as uh, glionconsulting.com. And over here in the contact page, you can leave your details over here and we'll contact you within 24 hours. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video.